sometimes I'm not in the mood to listen back to myself. I'm like, oh, I don't want to like get depressed right now. But you know, it's good to kick your own ass like that. And once you do it enough, you start to know your own playing enough to where it's like you don't get surprises. You know, I used to be like, didn't listen to myself at all, and then I'd listen to myself every now and then and be like, ugh. It doesn't sound anything like I remember it, you know? And it's true that you don't, it's like listening to your podcast, your own voice. You know, if you don't listen, the first time you listen back to yourself, you're like, oh, I sound like that. Um, it, um, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's like that. If you do it enough, then it, it takes away that shock. And then you can kind of address the problems without being afraid of it and without being reactive and, you know, just like in denial, you know what I mean? You can just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I I do that all the time. I always rush that fill, you know what I mean? And you're not surprised by it. You're like, okay, how can I fix it? And then when you do hear it better, then you're like, oh, it's better now because I worked on it this way, because I changed this. You know what I mean? Like you can start to see yourself improve because of certain actions you take and you're noticing it. You know, and then maybe it gets to a point where you don't have to listen back so much because you you're like, yeah, that's what I sound like. I know what I was going to sound like. You, you recognize it more in the moment. You know what I mean? Which is, which is kind of important to, to recognize the, the flaws that might be happening in the moment as opposed to needing to listen back. <laughs> 